Before we get into your reading, I'd like to start by thanking everyone who has liked and commented on the videos, as well as subscribed and donated to my channel. I really appreciate it, you guys. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can find all of my contact information, including my email and social media links, as well as links to my music and podcast in the description below this video. Okay, let's get into your reading. What do we have for Virgo at the foundation? Empress, Libra, Taurus, Venusian energy at the foundation. All right, Virgo, this is either where you're heading or this is where you're at right now. You guys are going to be on all different parts of this journey. The Empress is all the queens in one. It's the most beautiful card in the deck. And this is the energy, male or female, that you're encompassing. This has come after a lot of struggles, a lot of pushback by the individuals in your environment taking advantage of you. However, you're starting to see now how that was all a gift. The biggest struggles you had to face, you are now using to your advantage. And it's put you in this empress energy. It's just an energy of growth. It's an energy of abundance. It's an energy of creation. This is a perfect way to frame this reading. What do we have at the sacral? Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy at the sacral. So, Virgo, I feel like you guys are really building a new life for yourself. You're really starting to harness your passions and your creativity to pull through this life for you that you have always had access to, but you couldn't really see clear enough to reach out and grab it. It's like there was always something in the way. It's like whenever you started working on things to better your life, or things you were passionate about, there'd be some major distraction that would come through and knock you off your path. This could have been the individual or individuals you were dealing with on this previous timeline before you entered this energy. Or you could still be dealing with these energies depending on where you are on the timeline here. But this is you now really calibrating with your higher self. You're in a very optimistic space you're not feeling isolated or fearful about your environment anymore. I feel like you came from a place of feeling very anxious, very ungrounded, but you're starting to realize now as you step into this new timeline that that actually wasn't your energy. That was being projected onto you by the circumstances in your environment. Quite possibly other people projecting their demons onto you. What do we have at the solar plexus? The moon, cancer energy at the solar plexus. So this is what you're starting to understand now. You're starting to really understand how energy works and how energy manipulation works, whether it be good or bad. And you're starting to see now that you were a victim of some sort of negative energy manipulation. It's, um, it's an energy of your environment really affecting your growth, Virgo. I feel like before you didn't really see how this was possible. Right? But now you're starting to see how if you merely have somebody in your vicinity that's vibrating at this very low vibrational frequency, it's very easy to have that individual rub off on you. In fact, it's a lot easier to have somebody's negativity rub off on you than it is their positivity. Right? It's like when you have somebody around you that's very negative, you start to take on those traits without even realizing it, right? Because you start to feel tired, you start to feel drained out by them, just having them around you. And really what that is, is they're trying to calibrate you to their vibration, whether they're aware of this or not. But most people this day and age, they're aware enough to know that energy is infectious. I feel like the people you had around you simply did not care, Virgo. I feel like they wanted to stop you and slow you down every chance they could possibly get. You're starting to trust your intuition moving forward. You're starting to pay more attention to these environmental energy manipulation tactics, and you're a better person for it. You're standing in your power. Moon at the solar plexus. You're feeling more confident. You're taking control over your life again. Is that the Queen of Wands? Yes. Aries, Leo, Sag, Queen of Wands at the heart. 
So this is a very confident, self-assured energy. This is the energy you're encompassing right now, male or female. It's just a very charming, very dedicated to your path and what it is that you're trying to pull through for yourself, and nothing is going to stop you. This is an energy of mastery. I feel like this cycle you've come from has allowed you to master yourself, and you're actually seeing the gift in all of this. What do we have at the throat? Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy at the throat. Knight of Pentacles is the most reliable energy, I think, in the tarot. It's very slow moving. It's the slowest moving knight in the deck, but it gets to where it's going to. Nothing can stop it. It's like the light at the end of the tunnel. As soon as you start encompassing this energy, you know you're going to get to where you're going to. But this is also an energy of enjoying the journey. You're not interested in shortcuts. You're actually taking notes along your journey because you're starting to see how it's these struggles, it's the journey that is the beauty, right? There's all this creation that you can birth from the journey. What do we have at the third eye? Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy at the third eye. So this is where the divine's trying to get you, right? This is the narrative going on right now, or this is coming up in the future. These first five cards here, first five chakras. Third eye chakra is where the divine's trying to get you. So this is an energy of long-term security, but there's also an energy here, Virgo. Keep your moves to yourself. Don't allow people back into your energetic environment. Just be very discerning about who it is you bring around you because I feel that you're very, very sensitive to energies. I feel like I'm picking up on a lot of empaths out there, people who are very sensitive to energy. And a lot of the time, you don't know this until it's too late. Right? People can sense that about you. So they'll come in taking advantage of that, especially these lower vibrational demonic energies. This is what they live for. They feed off of that. Right. So if they can sense that you're an empath, they're gonna come through. It's like oh, it's like they it's like a vampire sees a fresh neck, right? They see you and their mouth is just watering. They can't wait to get a bite, get a taste, Virgo. What do we have at the crown, please? Nine of Cups. This is a powerful spread, Virgo. So this is how the divine sees what's going on here. And this is where they're going to get you to, right? This Nine of Cups standing in your power energy, Pisces energy at the crown. So this is on the horizon for you. This is where you're going. Nine of Cups is all about material abundance. This is your wishes coming true. And Nine of Cups is also, to me, it's a very powerful position to be in because you can really go anywhere from this point. This is you taking complete control over your life. So once you're able to master your emotions, anything is possible, right? There's like this stoic energy that I'm feeling from you, Virgo. What do we have at the foundation from the occult terror, please? See what demons are trying to keep my Virgo's root chakra blocked? Seven of Cups, Ose, Scorpio energy. Okay, so this is an energy of illusions. I feel like this is what they were trying to do to you. This is what you're coming out of now. It's just an energy of illusions. A lot of lies, a lot of gaslighting. It's the energy of being narcissistic supply to, I feel, some very low vibrational individuals or individual. This is going to resonate with people that were in marriages, relationships, romantic relationships, work situations, family dynamics. It's just an overall energy of being trapped inside some sort of an illusion. It's like an energy of demons laughing behind your back as you're walking away, snickering at you, right? Because they think you're too stupid to see the truth. This kind of energy. They know what you're capable of and they know where you're heading. They were doing whatever they could to slow you down on your path. They can't have you align with your higher self and your purpose. The longer they keep you off your path, the more in favor they are with the devil, period. That's what it comes down to, Virgo. What do we have at the sacral?
Page of Cups, Stolas at the Sacral, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. This is a very emotionally immature person that was trying to block your creativity, trying to block your passion so you weren't able to align with your higher self. Start using your gifts to start manifesting a life for yourself, right? So they would show up on your path and I feel that they would do things to stifle you. They would try to do things to repress your intuition. I also feel like you trusted these individuals. I feel like these individuals purposely gave you bad advice and you trusted them by proxy. Then you started to question your environment, your place in the universe and their place in your life. And you started to see that things were off. It really is the energy of having some sort of an awakening, Virgo spiritually speaking, starting to see the truth, waking up to the fact that not everybody is supporting you. In fact, very few people have ever supported you. It's the energy of understanding now what support truly is. I feel like you had some sort of skewed perception on what support was. What do we have at the solar plexus? There's just a lot of energy manipulation in this reading is what I'm picking up here. A lot of self-doubt projected onto you. Two of Wands at the solar plexus. Everything falling apart in the 11th hour. All based off of some sort of self-doubt that they were projecting onto you. I feel for a lot of you, these individuals always had a little bit of their energy on everything you were doing. This is why things never came to full manifest. It's like you thought they were working for you, but in reality, they were actually sabotaging you. But they were very good at this. Because they did it in a way to where you just thought you were self-sabotaging, right? That it was your lack of confidence or your lack of abilities to pull through whatever it is you were trying to pull through. No, Virgo, this couldn't be further from the truth. This here is a matter of just having the wrong individuals around you. People staring you in the face and telling you they support you, when in fact, they're your worst enemies. What do we have at the heart, please? Oh my God, what is going on here, Virgo? Okay. What do we have at the heart, please? So we have Six of Swords, Aquarius Energy, Seer, Dangerous Writings. This is like Six of Swords in reverse energy. This is an energy of stagnancy. These energies tried to control every aspect of your life, all your moves, everything. And see how it's like he's holding a head, right? And there's no body. That could be perceived as like you, right? They're like trying to keep you away from your body, trying to make any sort of moves, detaching you. It's just an energy of detachment. It's an energy of feeling stuck, not being able to move forward, carrying other people's baggage, completely blocked. I can actually feel the energy. I feel like I'm, it's like I'm staring at a brick wall. I feel like energetically speaking, this is how these individuals made you feel, like you were cornered in, right? Ibamia, alchemy and transformation. Virgo, that's your energy right there, the hermit. And I felt the hermit back here. I knew the hermit was going to come out, right? So this is all about spiritual illumination. This is what took place here. You had this clarity. It's like you went inward for some sort of truth. Something sparked in your, in your intuition, told you something was off. This is the divine communicating with you. So you went in for some sort of inner guidance, trying to seek some sort of understanding as to what was taking place here. And I feel you found your personal truth, Virgo. You started to see that this was all a plan to actually keep you stuck. It's like a whole world of characters just to keep little old you stuck, right? But why? Why? Well, Virgo, it's probably because you have some sort of big purpose, something you're supposed to do in this lifetime that's going to have some sort of a ripple effect, an influence on other individuals. And this could simply be a handful of individuals that you influence and they go out into the world and influence more people. It could be a collective of individuals. It's just an energy of influence. There's no measure to it. You're supposed to be where you're supposed to be because there's something that you're supposed to do. 
What do we have at the throat, please? Temperance, Sag energy. The God of joy, reconciliation, regains the favor of those one has offended. <sighs> Temperance energy. This is an energy of balance. It's an energy of harmony. It's also an energy of patience right underneath this Knight of Pentacles. You've taken your time on this journey. You're harnessing all the wisdom that you've gained from this previous cycle, using it as spiritual fuel in this new timeline. Transmuting this back to the collective, however that shows up for you. There's a very, very grounded, there's a very balanced, beautiful energy here that I'm picking up, Virgo. What do we have at the third eye? So again, some of you guys are still dealing with these cycles. Some of you guys are out of it. Some of you guys are like in the middle. You're going to be on all different parts of this path. But just know that this is the energy that's available to you. If you're doing the work and you resonate with this. The moon. So we have the moon twice now. Gabriel. God is my strength. Divine revelations. Reveals messages, has the power to destroy. So emphasis on the dream space here, Virgo. Pay attention to your dreams. I feel like there's a lot of clarity that's trying to come through for you at the third eye from the divine. Okay, again, trust your intuition. Allow your intuition to guide you. There's a lot still that you haven't seen. There's a lot still going on behind the scenes. The divine will show you in due time. They can't show you everything at once because it will be too shocking to you. They just need to remove you from these situations get you on the new timeline, and then they'll start illuminating things to you as needed. What do we have at the crown to close out this reading for Virgo, please? Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, O'Male at the crown. The patient God, fertility and multiplicity, protects against despair, helps one be patient. So this is an energy of beginnings. It's an energy of power and creation. A lot of creative energy in this spread, Virgo. This is a very, very powerful spread here. This is somebody who's realized their purpose and their potential in this lifetime. This is the energy that's available to you, Virgo, should you choose to take it. All right, Virgo, I'm going to leave it there. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like a personal reading. All that information can be found in the description below. And thank you for your donations, Virgo. Take care.